Hey everybody, and happy Thursday. Just want to thank you for coming on uh, for our get up, which is our 30 minute boot camp. Um, hopefully you guys are having an awesome day today. I know out in Massachusetts it's a little cloudy. The sun wants to peek out a little bit, but we'll, we'll find out soon whether or not it's going to be the case. Um, so again, today, this is our 30 minute boot camp. This is going to be body weight. It sometimes will require um, or you can modify to use weights if you'd like or if you have any available. But if you do not, that's perfectly fine. Just getting body weight work is perfectly uh, acceptable and A-OK -okay with me. So again, with this, you do not need to focus on getting all the reps in. Um, you'll have opportunities to be able to do that. What I want you to focus on though, is just making sure that you can kind of let whatever is bugging you right now, or whatever's on your mind to kind of, you know, be by the wayside for right now. This is your time. Uh, and you want to be able to just kind of get, uh, the endorphins kind of going, you know, feeling positive and everything and feeling much better walking out of this session, uh, than when you essentially came in. Um, so again, we're all working together here for one common goal. Uh, just to be a little bit more active, especially with being more indoors. So without further ado, we're going to start with a warm-up. So with our warm-up, the first thing is going to be our jumping jacks. Again, if you don't feel comfortable with doing jumping jacks, uh, we can modify it. So again, this will be our jumping jack right here. But if you do not, you can just take a step out to the side. I know this feels like a um, Richard Simmons, you know, uh, step aerobics class. But again, if that is what makes the knees feel a little bit better, if you have knee pain, by all means do so. So again, we're in our jumping jacks. I want to thank everybody who's coming on right now for Get Up. I really appreciate it. And again, the point of this warm-up right now is just to get a little bit of a sweat going before we go into some stretching. And then we'll move into some core work right after that. From here, let's move into skater hop. So again, you're just hopping from one side over to the other. If you do not feel comfortable with that, again, just because the knees might be uh, something of a bothersome area, by all means, just take a step out to the side. Make it less um, plyometric or less explosive, okay? So again, just going from one side over to the other. Nice job, everybody. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it going. Again, if you have music that you want to play, by all means do so. I am going to try to create a playlist that I can send to you guys if you guys would like. And awesome. From here, we're going to go into skips. Okay, so again. And if you don't feel comfortable again with that little plyometric step, by all means, go more of like a march. But what I do want you to do, whether it's a march or a skip, it's moving hand and opposite leg at the same time. So it shouldn't be this, because we don't even walk like this. We walk like this, okay? So it should kind of mimic the same thing. And great job. Now, the next thing is going to be our butt kick. So it's going to look like a jog in place. Okay. So again, bringing the hips up. Or sorry, bringing the heels up, not the hips. But bringing the heels up towards the hips or the, the back of your butt. And just make sure that you're breathing. Go at a pace that you can still be breathing. You're not, you know, kind of hunching forward trying to catch your breath. You still want to be able to work, but it should be at your own pace. And let's go for another 10 more seconds. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Come on. Two, one, and relax. Nice. Next thing is going to be our quad stretch. Okay, so again with that quad stretch. If you have something around you to kind of keep your balance, that's, that's perfectly fine where you can just go and pull the leg right up. Now, if you do not, okay, if you can balance, that's perfectly fine. Find something to focus on. So right now, 
I'm looking straight at the camera, so I'm finding my focal point with the camera. And just alternating back and forth. Just get a good stretch through the quad, so the front of the leg. Again, I want to thank everybody who's coming on right now for a get up. I'll be on after for about 10, five, 10 minutes for a Q&A. So if you have any questions on anything health, fitness related, by all means, feel free to stay on a little longer. And good. From here, let's go into a lateral lunge. So just take a step out to the side and you're gonna lean over and bring your body over to one side. So in this case, my left side. So my right leg is straight. Return back up. Same thing going the other way. Turn back up. Again, just take your time. This isn't a race. I'm not focused on who can get the most reps in that small period of time. I just want you to feel really good, really relaxed. Nice job. Nice work. From here, we're going to go into toe touches. So toe up towards the ceiling. Reach for the toes. And then right back. Okay, so again, just alternate. You should feel the stretch in the calf, especially because the toe is coming up towards you. Maybe a little bit in the hamstring as well. And also, you can cross, go cross body. So it doesn't have to be same hand and leg. You can go across the body. You may feel a little bit more of a stretch that way as well. And let's get two, one, and relax. Good. So again, if you don't already have one, uh, I would say grab a towel, hand towel of any sort. Uh, grab a you know glass of water, cup of water, or a water bottle, because again, you will start sweating, you will want some water, and you should be drinking water as you are going through the workout. Now, again, go at your own pace. Don't need to be a workout warrior right now. Just go at your own pace. Just make sure that you're feeling pretty good. Now, from here, we're going to start off with our core work, which we don't normally always start off with core, but we are today. So we're going to start off with some bird dogs. So if you have a mat, perfectly fine if you do not, um, if you have like a pillow. So that way, what you can do is keep the knees a little bit more comfortable, especially like on a hard surface. So with our bird dog, we're going to go hand and opposite leg. So my hands are about shoulder width apart, knees about hip width apart, and I'm digging my toes into the floor. Okay. So now whether it's your palm, your forearm, or your elbow, it's going to touch the opposite knee or leg, extend right out. We're going to get 12 reps here. And as you can tell right now, I'm not leaning over to my left knee. I'm keeping that weight dispersed through my left knee and my right hand. And this is 12, we're gonna switch sides. So again, just make sure that we, we are resetting before we move on. So again, hands about shoulder width apart, knees about hip width apart, digging the toes into the floor. Extend out, back. And you may also notice that as you are moving, one side may feel a little bit easier than the other, and that's perfectly normal. We got two left. Keep it up, everybody. Last one and done. Excellent job. Now from here, we're going to go into ab circle. So I'm just going to set a timer on my watch for 30 seconds for our ab rows. Uh, sorry, for our ab circles. What I want you guys to be focusing on right now is lying down. Okay. Now whether the hands are out to the sides or if it feels a little bit more comfortable underneath your butt so that way your lower back doesn't get too uh, stressed out. By all means, whatever feels most comfortable. Relax the head, and you're gonna go 30 seconds with your legs going one way, then 30 seconds with the legs going the other way, okay? Now, if you go a little bit higher with the legs, it's a little easier. Closer to the floor, a little bit harder. So we're gonna be starting up in three, two, one, and we're going. 
Keep it up, everybody. Let's keep it up. So again, you may start to notice that you can go a little bit lower. And relax the head on the floor. Don't bring the chin down towards the uh, chest just because you're going to strain that neck. Keep it up. We're almost done in five, three, two, one. And time. We're going to go the other way now. So we're starting that timer up in three, two, one. And we're going. So here we go. Here we go, everybody. Nice job. And again, you're going to notice that one side is going to be a little bit harder than the other. That again, that's perfectly normal. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. We're almost done in three, two, one. And relax. And great job. Now from here, we're going to go into cross body mountain climbers. So we're in that tall plank or push-up position. Again, thank you for everybody who's hopping on for get up. Hands about shoulder width. Bring the knee across the body. So again, the knee doesn't need to be touching that forearm just going across. That's all it needs to do. We have 12 each way. So 24 total movements, leg movements. And if you're keeping that core really tight, you're gonna notice that it is going to be uh, difficult. And we got two, one, and done. Excellent job, guys. Excellent job. So now, from here, what we're going to focus on is going to be toe touches. Okay? So with our toe touches, we are going to be lying right back on our back. Feet up towards the ceiling. And now what I want you to focus on here is you're not actually touching your toes. You're just trying to bring the shoulders off the floor and right back. We have eight. And done. Nice job. Now we're going to recycle back to the top or go back to the top. Uh, we're going to start back up with that, the bird dogs. So again, in that all four position. Two more. Done. Great job. We're going to switch sides, same thing. Three, two, and done. Great job. We're going right back to those, to those ab circles. So again, 30 seconds going one way, 30 seconds going the other way, starting that timer right now. So again, 30 seconds here. Again, if you have to grab water at any point, please do so. Don't feel, don't feel like you have to be waiting around for me to tell you. And time, great job. Going the other way, starting that timer right now. it up in three two one and relax we're gonna go into that crossbody mountain climber and again we got 12 each way
done. There's 12 right there. And then the last thing is going to be toe touches. We're gonna to cycle through one more time and then we'll move on to the last portion of the workout. So again, feet don't need to be straight. They can be slightly bent. And lifting the shoulder blades just a little bit off the floor. Done. Great job. And let's finish off one more time through with those bird dogs. So again, elbow or forearm to opposite leg. Extend right out. Good. Again, thank you to all of those, all of you who are attending Get Up. We have 12. And then we're going to get 12 more going the other way. Two, one, and done. We're gonna switch sides, same thing. And there's 12, great job. Again, we're gonna go right back to those ab circles. And we're starting up in three, two, one, and we're going. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're almost done. Almost done. In five, three, Two, one, and time. We're going the other way, starting that timer right now. Great job, everybody. Let's keep it up. Keep it up. We're almost done. We're almost done. We got 10 more seconds. In five, three, two, one, and relax. Great job. Let's go right back into those crossbody mountain climbers. So what I want you to focus on here, again, is just making sure that the feet are about hip width apart, okay? They shouldn't be uh, close together. Keep it up, two, one, and done, great job. Now, from here, let's move into those eight toe touches. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and done, great job, everybody. Nice work, again, let's grab a little bit of water. Again, if you need to wipe down, uh, you should have your towel or use your t-shirt. Now, just getting the next portion of that workout uh, ready to go. So, what we're gonna do here, we got about 11 minutes or so. So, the next thing that we're gonna do here is going to be scissor jumps. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with doing scissor jumps, split squats is a perfect modification for it. The split squat will just be you starting down on the floor, kind of in that lunge position. Now you're just going to stand right up and then right back down. Okay, again, nothing wrong with you doing that. Now if you feel more than comfortable uh, to go into scissor jumps, by all means, again, just take it easy, okay? Don't try to kill yourself here. So again, starting going from the top down and then exploding right up, switching feet. So again, you want to use your arms to help with that uh, momentum, okay? So back, jump, land, jump. Again, we got eight each way. Three. One more each way. 
and done. Great job. Now, from here, we're going to go into an alternating seated incline press, okay? So if you have a weight, by all means, this is where you want to use that alternating uh, hand. If you don't have a weight, um, then just go with both arms together. That's perfectly fine, okay? So again, if you do have a dumbbell, So keeping the back nice and flat, leaning back a little bit, extend both arms overhead. Now, again, if you have that weight, you're going to press right up, alternate, press the other way, alternate, press the other way. So again, we got 10 each way, five, great job, three, two, one. And done. Excellent job. Now, from here, we're going to go into Superman's. Okay? So that's with us lying on our stomach. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pause at the top. Okay? So when we pause at the top, we want to make sure that we're not creating any kind of, uh, any kind of pain in the lower back. So arms out to the side in my case just because I don't have that much space. And it is... Chest off the floor and right back down. We have 15 reps. And great job. Now from here, we're gonna go into 10 squat jumps. So again, the modification for that is just a normal squat if you don't feel comfortable or there's any pain in the knee. So again, we got 10 squats with these squat jumps. I call them squat jumps, but they're more of a hop. Okay, so what you wanna do here, same thing with the, uh, the scissor jumps, is bring the arms behind you, use the arms as momentum. We got 10 reps, whether you're doing the jump portion or you're doing just the normal squat. Now, as you can see from my knees, I'm driving them away. Three, two, one more. And done, great job. Now, from here, we're gonna go into seal claps. So seal claps are very similar to a jumping jack. The only difference is the feet are going to cross. Okay, so more or less doing this, where you're alternating the feet every time. And then the arms, instead of going up, going out in front of you, okay? So we're gonna get 20 seal claps, so just think of Counting 20 jumps, okay, or little hops. Okay, and here we go. Two, one, and done. Great job. So that was the end of round number one right there. We're gonna try to shoot for two more rounds. We got about uh, six and a half more minutes to go, everybody. So again, going right down. Again, whether it's a split squat or the scissor jump, it's really up to you. But you are gonna get eight, okay? Regardless of the variation. And there's eight, great job. Okay, awesome work, everybody. Let's sit right back down. We're gonna go into that alternating seated incline press. And again, we got 10 each way, so there's one. Great job. There's 10. Great job. Moving into Superman. So again, just lying on our stomach, face down. Now, what I want you to focus on here is when you get that chest off the floor, focus on squeezing that glute or your butt cheeks as tight as you can. So again, going right up, squeeze, right back down. We got 15. One. 
One more. And great job. Standing right up. We're going to our squat jumps. Again, we got 10. Again, you don't need to do the squat jumps if you don't feel comfortable. Doing normal squats is perfectly fine. And we are going right now. Good. One more. And done. Great job. Right, returning right back to those seal claps. So again, alternating the feet on which foot goes forward, as well as the arms on which hand goes up, okay, or cl closer to the ceiling. So, and here we go. So 20 in total. Eight. Three, two, one more, and done. Great job, great job. Great news, everybody. We got about three and a half minutes or so. We're gonna go right into the last round. After that, we are done. If you wanna stick around for a Q&A, I'll be on here for about another five, 10 minutes after that. So again, going right back to those scissor jumps. And done. Excellent job. From here, sitting right back down. Leaning back. Again, alternating every time. And I'm at eight. Nine, so one more each way, and done. Great job. Right back to our Supermans, everybody. Let's finish this up. And again, we have 15. Three, two, one more, and done. Excellent job, excellent job. Now we're gonna go right back to those squat jumps. Great, keep it up. We got four more. Three, two, one more, and done, excellent. And the last thing that we have here, guys, and again, I want to thank you guys for coming on for Get Up. We're going to go into our seal class next. Eight, one, and done, guys. So again, I want to thank you guys for hopping on for Get Up. You guys did an awesome job today, so round of applause. I'll stick around for another five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna stop the recording, but keep the stream going. Again, if you weren't able to get all the reps, that's perfectly fine. These videos go up on YouTube, so just give me a few days to get them uploaded. And then from there, if you wanna try it again, by all means do so. So again, I wanna thank everybody for coming on for Get Up. I'll see you guys next Tuesday for our flex session at 11.50. So again, thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Have a great weekend. Try to stay positive. Try to find something that is going to make you smile or laugh. Don't try to find something that's going to leave you sad and depressed, okay? So again, talk to your friends, say hi, catch up with people. So again, I wanna thank you guys. Have a great weekend and see you on Tuesday.